Hello Taurus, it's me G1 Writer here with G1 Insights and I'm here to do your career in life and love and health and everything else in between overall energy for the month of November 2018 going into December, okay? This energy is very, very interesting this season because it talks a lot about self-love, you know, and moving away from what no longer serve you. It speaks about your value in the world, you know, how people see you, you know, are people appreciating you? Are they taking you for granted? You know, do they expect you to march to the beat of their drum or are they expecting you not to do nothing at all? Now, this is going to be the season where you may have to put your foot down a bit. Um, whereas, I mean, I feel like you have already, for some of you, you have already been going through this phase of um, pretty much doing what everybody else wants you to do, right? And now it's like, I think this whole year has been like that really for you, for a lot of you actually, where you are like, please free me from this. <laughs> I don't want it no more. I just want to be me. I just want to be happy. I just want to do what I love to do. <laughs> and the interesting thing and part about you, Taurus, is that you, you dance, right? You know how to, and I don't mean like physically dancing, but I mean you dance in a way of when, in the midst of your obstacles, scrutiny, when things are not working out well for you, you still dance. When people are judging you and criticizing you, laughing at you, mocking you, you know, taking you for granted, you still dance. When life seems not fair and you feel like all is lost, you are still dancing. Because that is who you are. You are courageous. And... I feel like this is the season where you get to actually get to know courage, okay? You are getting to know what it feels like to have more and more and more courage to break away from what no longer serves you, okay? Thank you, universe, for that. I really felt it. So, the universe, when it comes to love, the universe just wants to remind you, dear love, that you are lovable. You are desirable. People truly do admire you, no matter what you think, no matter what negative thoughts may cross your mind from time to time, no matter how sensitive or emotional you can get, the world loves you, okay? You do deserve love. But a lot of times you can't see that. And you may not even see what's right in front of you because there's that lack of self-love, okay? Love yourself first, my love, okay? That is what your romance angels wanted you to know. That even if you already feel like you love you, love you some more, okay? I mean, really, really, really love you, okay? To the point where... It's, it's beyond the physical. This is beyond a mental capacity. This is different. This is loving yourself enough to forgive yourself. Loving yourself to the point where just as much as you put up with everybody else crap, love yourself enough to put up with your own crap, okay? Because nobody is perfect. And so just as other people may have done things to hurt you, to cross you, to try to manipulate you, right? I wouldn't necessarily say that you are that type of individual, but let's face it, we all have our, you know, flaws, okay? And I have Taurus in my birth chart as well, so I know exactly what, you know, and how you guys operate, okay? So it's so easy sometimes to just sit back and point the finger, and when it's being done to us, it's like, how dare you criticize me, you know? <laughs> like, we get really sensitive and really mad. Like, I don't want to hear this, you know? And sometimes it's just really about setting boundaries for you, really, and having courage. And I feel like back in, if I'm not wrong, okay, back in either August or September, I spoke to you all about having boundaries, okay? Oh, yeah, okay? 
Here's that. And the crazy part is, is that this is not your first time getting this card, okay? Now, I feel like when it comes to boundaries, my love, this can be in love. This could be at home with family, close friends. This could be just in your business while you're working with people, okay? Networking with others. This is setting boundaries from the gate, okay? Letting it be known of what you will deal with and what you won't deal with. Let it be known right away so that way when people really do get to know you, they're not surprised. They're not like, oh, shit. No. Let them know right off the bat. I love this, but I will not. Absolutely, I will not tolerate that, right? Like, let them know that right away. And I feel like that's part of the issue is that you you do well, and I feel like you mean well when you get into these different relationships and partnerships. Like, you mean well, but sometimes it comes off wrong, and people can misinterpret the way that you respond, the way that you're looking at them, the way that you greet them, or you may not even greet them at all, right? And it's because you already have these pent-up feelings and emotions about things that you have gone through. You know, so when people do present, you know, a man to you or a woman to you or a business opportunity to you or um, just anything, really, even friendships, like you're like, eh, I'm good with the friends that I got. You know, <laughs> you put up this this wall, this protective barrier um, because of things that you have gone through, you know, and it's only right. You want to protect yourself and there's nothing wrong with that. But when you truly, truly love yourself. You won't be afraid to meet new people. You won't be afraid to go out and have fun because you know that you're to the place where nothing, nothing and no one can intercept with that. Like, you know, like, you know that you know that you know who you are and you love yourself so much that, yeah, I can have fun. I can date. I can go out and do whatever I want because I love me. And so because I love me that much, I know that you're not going to, I'm not going to allow you to hurt me anyway. Duh. I'm not going to allow you to hurt me anyway because I don't put up with that nonsense anymore. So this is giving people a chance and giving yourself a chance, but still being mindful, right? Like still having a conscience thought that, you know, everyone deserves love. Everyone deserves Something, some type of support, some type of love, some type of attention, some type of affection, right? And I feel like you earth signs are really all going through this season where you have to, you know, it's either show out or do nothing at all for you. <laughs> so, you know, you either, you know, make it happen or just sit out. Like, that's the energy for all of you earth signs, really, is that you guys have to get to the place where you're more focused on the things that you want to do and not so focused on the issues or the problems that you guys have been facing or that you have been going through, okay? Focus on healing, okay? Because I see a lot of healing that needs to happen from the past, okay? I also see Kali here. Goddess Kali, Kali, <laughs> Goddess Kali here is you know, talks a lot about moving forward, you know, embracing the new. So the for the new to enter, the old has to be released. That is basically what she is saying. And if you look here, there's the third eye, right, which speaks about your consciousness, right? Your inner consciousness, your inner wisdom, your clairvoyance. Allow yourself to go deeper, my love. Follow your intuition this season. OK, whatever the universe is blessing you with, whatever spiritual insight the universe is blessing you with, take that as a gift, you know, because you're being given this spiritual insight for a reason. Something or someone is coming to you with something magnificent, whether it is a relationship, a business relationship, a new friendship, new opportunities, whatever it is, embrace it. We cannot move forward holding on to the past, okay? Even in love, okay? You got the attraction card. And again, it's talking about just living in the moment. 
having a good time, smelling the roses, my love. Okay, the it say you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So smell the roses, my love. Literally, go out and have fun. Love doesn't have to be always painful. It doesn't have to be scary. Love doesn't have to always run you away and make you hate everybody. It starts with yourself. Once you take a moment to just forgive you for all the mistakes that you have done, right? For instance, you can say, I forgive myself for not being mindful. I forgive myself for not believing that I'm worthy of love that is greater than what I have had. Forgive yourself. I forgive myself for even taking me through that process. But in the midst of you going through that process, there was a lesson. And so a lot of people think that relationships is just for you to fall in love and have good sex and have money and all the good stuff, right? And to be well taken care of. But it's deeper than that. There is a lesson. There is a blessing in every lesson. But you first had to know the lesson. The lesson was to practice self-love. Taurus, self-love is key. We can talk about everything else all day long, honey, but if you don't have self-love, I'm talking about real self-love. When you have real self-love, no one can touch you. There's nothing that someone can say or do that will break your heart. There is nothing that someone can say or do that can destroy your peace of mind because you get it. And when you get it, there's that aha moment. Aha. I know if I just laugh at his ignorance that I will be okay, right? You just got to laugh sometimes. You just got to laugh at people, right? Sometimes you got to even laugh at yourself for making the stupid mistakes that we make. We have to laugh at ourselves. If we don't take our time to laugh at ourselves, we will be sad and depressed, worrying about the past all the time. We have to learn to laugh at it. Yeah, girl, I was with this guy and... He, you know, he really hurt me, you know, but I don't, I don't see that's hurt. I felt like I was the silly one and I was the silly one because I knew that he was going to hurt me anyway. And yet I just didn't listen to myself. So I'm really the silly one. So it's not that he hurt me, but instead I had to take responsibility. So this is now not placing the blame or the anger or frustration on someone else. This is taking responsibility for that action. This is saying, you know what? I knew what I was getting into when I first met him, but I allowed my need to be selfish. I allowed my need to be loved because I don't want to be lonely, I allowed my need, or because it's not really a need, really your wants, you allowed your wants to take over. And when you allow your wants to take over and your wants is greater than your need, that's a problem. So, and I'm not saying that you guys should not be happy. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get into business relationships or business love or love relationships, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy, you do that. But make sure that your heart is in it. Because if your heart is not in it, it's not going to happen. Okay? If your heart is not into, you know, really, really taking the time out to love that individual and to focus on that individual, to focus on that marriage or to focus on that relationship, then what's the point? But you can't even do that if you're not even focused on you. So you have to take responsibility. You have to take responsibility for things not working out. We have to take responsibility. We have to say, you know what? I'm going to have courage this season. I'm not going to worry about who broke my heart. I'm not going to worry about that argument we had five months ago because it's not going to help me right now. But what is going to help me right now is that I forgive myself and I forgive you. Because you had no idea. You had no idea that I had such a huge heart. Like, you had no idea. And you had no idea because I never allowed you to see my big heart to begin with. So, I have to forgive myself and then I have to forgive you. And I will accept full responsibility because it is not totally always the other person's fault. 
okay? But I will still speak about boundaries. Do not allow this person just come in your life whenever they feel like it, thinking that they can call you whenever. Don't be the one that they call. No, absolutely not. You're not going to disappear out of my life and then just pop up and then just say, hey, what's going on? How you doing? No, no, no. That's not the way it's going to work. It's either you deal with me or that's it. Boundaries, honey. Even when it comes to friendships or partnerships. This is not, oh, I don't hear from you for six months. Hey, can I get $20? Like, we're not doing that. This is not saying, okay, can you watch my kids for me? You know, um, I'll be right back. And then the person don't come back until like a whole day or two later. And then they expect you to do it again next week. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm nice, but I'm not that nice. No, boundaries. Somebody owe you money, they don't want to pay, boundaries. Set boundaries. If you don't want somebody to keep taking money from you and not paying you back, stop giving them your money. If you don't know if this person is can be real and honest with you, then don't even deal with them. Don't even allow yourself to be put in situations that can hurt you, is my point. So again, you are in a position right now, Taurus, where you are seeking and finding. And you're going to do exactly that. While you're seeking, you will be finding because the universe is blessing you with spiritual insight. So intuition is going to be at an all-time high for you this season. So get ready to see for things to be revealed, for things to come back to you, whether this is an old person that you used to deal with, whatever. Something is coming back. And it's up to you to set the standard. It is up to you to say, you know what? This is my past. Okay? It's up to you. Ends and beginnings, honey. You have to release it. Because apparently this person thinks that it's okay to just keep coming in your life and disappearing, coming back, leaving. Yeah, we don't have time for that. Okay? Either way, my love, Goddess Athena is saying that you have the inner wisdom. You know what to do. So trust your inner wisdom. Take appropriate action without delay. And do not give up. Do not give up, my love. Okay? You already know what to do. You are being blessed with that spiritual insight. So even when it comes to love, you're not in the space right now to even be feeling overprotective. I'm not overprotective because I know I'm not going to allow you to hurt me anyway. I'm not. You can't hurt me. I am strong, I'm powerful, I'm beautiful, I'm fucking fantastic, are you kidding me? No, you can't hurt me. Now, you might hurt you trying to fuck with me, trying to hurt me, yeah, but you can't hurt me, right? Like, yeah, as cocky and as arrogant as it sounds, that is your energy. Boundaries, okay? So I love you, Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in, I thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. To me, I feel like your reading was very direct, very straight to the point. There's really no need for me to just keep dragging this on. But I want you to know that in the midst of you seeking and finding, my love, you will literally be finding what you are seeking. Whether this is new love, new partnerships, new friendships, you will begin to manifest all of that this season, okay? Be mindful, though, around November 7th with that new moon in Scorpio, that's your opposite sign. So you will, you know, possibly be feeling a little moody or, you know, a bit mysterious or curious about some things. So like I said, as you are seeking, you will be finding. You may suddenly see that you're going through your spouse's phone and you may suddenly find something that you were definitely looking for. OK, so be mindful of your thoughts. This is the season when we had to listen more before we speak. We are thinking before we are speaking. We are being mindful of the things that we are saying. We are being mindful of our actions. Are we being is our actions reflecting the things that we are saying? Are we being truthful with ourselves and others? We have to be very cautious of that, especially when your moon and planet goes direct on November 16th, because that is the same day that Mercury is going to go retrograde. So as I always say, Mercury retrograde is sometimes can be uneasy depending on your energy and how you flow. If you do all the right things, you will have nothing to worry about. Do not overly spend during Mercury retrograde. I understand it's going to be Thanksgiving here in the States. Everybody's going to go shopping. Then there's Black Friday. Oh my God. And then your Taurus and Venus is 
hanging around. So yes, and then Jupiter is also hanging around, making us feel like everything is big and drastic and beautiful. All right. So around that third week of November, get ready because you may want to do some social gatherings or go out and have some fun with family and close relatives. You may decide to do that, but in the midst of that, you may also feel um, a bit impulsive because the sun is also going to be in Sagittarius at that time around the 22nd. So you may also feel a need to want to do some spending and have some fun, but just be mindful of your budget. Make sure that you are following your heart and that you're not being pressured, okay? Respect the boundaries, baby. Make sure that you're not being pressured into doing something that you don't want to do. If something does not feel right, listen to that intuition, my love. Okay? Clairvoyance, my love. Pay attention to that third eye, that inner wisdom. Pay attention to it. It's right here. <laughs> Pay attention to it, my love, okay? By the ending of November, probably around the 24th, actually, that's going to be the day where you can, you can breathe. You can relax. You know, it's not going to be so tense. It's not going to be so heavy on you. Uh, Mercury will be in a shadow period at that time. So we'll be almost done with that. But if it's absolutely necessary for you to sign any type of contract, please wait until that first week of December. Okay, do not make any real drastic decisions during Mercury retrograde. Okay, as of right now, just enjoy life, honey. <laughs> Mercury retrograde can bring some things up and cause you to be a bit irritated. But as long as you are following the cosmic rules, my love, as long as you are following the universal order, you will be fine, okay? Twirl and swirl with the universe, baby, because that's exactly what God is Cali is telling us to do. Dance with the universe. Dance, baby, okay? Have fun. So I love you, Taurus, but I really got to go. <laughs> Have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe this video because every Taurus deserves to hear this message. Please. Thank you. Bye.